Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher here at CES 2014 checking out the new Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. Let's check it out. So uh, we've done the best we can on this screen, guys. A lot of hands have been on this, so you know it's a typical matter with displays. But this is the largest Samsung Android tablet that we've ever handled. It is 12.2 inches on the diagonal. Uh, the screen technology is AMOLED, Super AMOLED. Is that correct? And uh, it's uh, running at a resolution of 2560, 2560 by 1600. I wasn't fed that at all. I promise. Except that's not true power on the screen here. This is the Tab Pro. So we've talked about the Note Pro in another video, but this model is identical. Unlike what they've done previously, the uh, Tab Pro bears the same exact specs as the Note Pro, except it doesn't have the S Pen. You'll notice this is also the first Samsung product, that is the first non-Note Samsung product to feature the stitched leather. So it's interesting that uh, Samsung has broadened a little bit in that regard, moving that physical thing. This is an 8 megapixel camera, by the way. Battery underneath is 9,500 milliamp hours, a real monster. And flipping around to the front, sorry about the horrible lighting once again, but you will notice a very new user interface. This is the first major revision of Samsung's uh, TouchWiz user interface. It's actually not called TouchWiz anymore all that often, but uh, the first major revision of Samsung's interface is the sliding panels. Uh, it's a little Metro-like. It's a little like the news magazine app uh, that we saw on the existing notes and it's actually fairly responsive on this 12.2 inch screen. To talk a little bit about that, I want to talk a little bit about the, the heft though. This is a uh, 732 gram device, or give or take a couple grams. Uh, the mass varies by a few grams depending on whether you're getting the Wi-Fi version or the uh, 3G version, the LTE version, so does the processor. If you get the Wi-Fi and 3G, it's uh, the Exynos model. If you get the LTE version, it is the Snapdragon 800. Three gigs of RAM in each case, I believe. But that's not quite as interesting as this new interface, which, you know, when I first saw this, I think it was set to this mode, and you can do legacy Android if you want to. You know, you can, you can come back here and you can add home screens in the traditional way. You tap and hold, and you've got all your kind of usual stuff here, and you can change the wallpaper, all that, all the stuff that we're used to seeing. But this new interface is just a swipe away, and now here's all of the, uh, the panes that are available to you to just fill. You can just tap, and it'll fill in any available space, or you can, uh, you can tap and drag it specifically to where you want it to be, and the tiles around it will automatically resize. Boom. We have an empty tile here, very, very simple matter, just to tap and hold. Let's say we want to put in the gallery. That sounds like a good idea. Drop it right in that empty frame, and there it is. Another thing Samsung has done, you'll notice the home key is flanked by the back key and the uh, multitasking select there. Oh, wow, I actually didn't see this before. That's pretty cool. It's now been moved to the bottom, and you can swipe up to uh, dismiss, which is very cool. But there's no multitasking if you press and hold like that. That doesn't mean multitasking is not here. You just swipe out from the edge of the bezel, and there is your multitasking screen select. You drag the internet browser over here and say, ah, oh, the whole browser fills the whole screen. Cool. But I also want to do some text messaging while I do that. Pop that right there. The familiar resize option is, exists. And also, if you want to just say, let's see, we're doing both those things, but we want to quickly view a YouTube video, if you tap instead of drag, you're given the app in a full window, which can go on top of anything you want. And you know, we've done this a couple times on this device. It's running pretty snappy, especially for a demo unit. Um, not willing to say at this point that uh, that Samsung has, has fixed all of the all of the lag issues that we often complain about on these large tablets, but. Man, it's, it's running pretty well right now, I'll tell you that. There's our drop-down notification shade with the uh, new bubble-like things. But this is just a quick UI tour. We're going to get to know it a little bit better. Hopefully, we've given you a small sense of how the Galaxy Tab Pro uh, in the 12-inch size operates. We're taking a look at a lot more from Samsung here at CES 2014. And Tony behind the camera is doing a great job keeping up with uh, my nonsense. Stay tuned for a lot more from Pocket Now.